nityanandam with all auspicious blessings and grace of my guru bhagwan shri nityanand parmashivam i welcome you to this video today i would like to share with you what i have discovered in the difference between a suffering based lifestyle and a solution based lifestyle how we make suffering based decisions without consciously being aware of it and how we can shift that unconscious suffering based solution decision making thinking patterns towards solution based thinking patterns life affirmatives positive thinking and being calm great meditations they are all available all over the world but unless you develop powerful cognitions and inherent uh, faith in yourself i would rather say the faith and confidence in yourself any any number of meditation classes yoga anything would be just a sort of a stop gap stop gap solution which will probably hinder you into looking for a permanent solution and going towards life more joyfully when you first think life is full of problems oh i have so many problems or i'm so busy or i'm running around and oh i have problems in relationships or i have problems with my boss but if you stop and look at life just as a journey from birth to death it's just a journey where you meet people life happens or doesn't happen everything is based on the decision that you make if you look at life like that without the cognition that oh this is good this is bad this is evil oh i'm always suffering or oh, i'm born to suffer or oh, it's my karma to suffer you stop adding these cognitions into your thinking or stop adding these words into your thinking life itself will have more joy add more color and more volume to you you must be wondering how i can when something bad happens to me when something that i don't expect happens to me how can i not think it's suffering how can i not fall into guilt or fall into sorrow or feel bad about it but just pause a moment if you lose your job or or your relationships break or you lose everything that you have in your life what you feel is valuable to you be it your relationships be it your work be it your fame be it your name anything when you lose everything which is going to make you move towards life without being a failure is it feeling sad feeling sorrowful oh i have lost everything and i worked so hard or this person betrayed me or i have to be very careful i'm going to be having friends who are going to probably be betraying me or looking at everybody suspiciously and for all of us carrying the suffering of failure is that going to make you feel better in every decisions that you take or you stop pause no suffering is not what i'm born for i'm going to look at life only as a solution based lifestyle yes i have been betrayed by friends yes life has given me something i'm not expecting yes this is not the way i have planned my life or i'm at the tottering age and i had so much of wealth but right now i don't have anything i don't have anybody no friends no money to look after me what am i going to do am i going to just sit and cry is that going to give me the life that i want is that going to make me feel better or saying yes this is the situation i am in my life i don't have friends all my wealth has been taken away i am just on the roads now how can i restart my life how can i begin this adventure of my life and continue going on till i die joyfully based and with full confidence on the decisions that you make mostly what happens in life i have seen is when few of the decisions that we make lead to failure as we look at we start hesitating to make decisions or we start thinking all our decisions will probably end in failure and the confidence about what we believe in what we want to live for starts eroding and with the erosion a lot of virus a lot of negative thinking starts falling into place instead of attending to the virus or cleaning the virus inside and healing the erosion and re-strengthening your thought processes and the confidence in the way you want your life to be 
we start believing that oh anything i do may not work out we start thinking with that or we start with oh i do hope it works out at one point of time when we would have started any new initiative with i am very sure this is going to work out i am 100% sure this is going to be the most successful project in life i have made it for life from there over the years sometimes we become like oh i do hope it happens this thinking gap that comes is called self doubt and this self doubt penetrates into your very being if you st- if you do not stop looking at life from a solution based aspect in sanskrit we have two beautiful words called shrishti and drishti drishti sorry shrishti is meaning what you can create drishti is what you see if you see your life like this if you perceive your life from these two perspectives what am i seeing my life as now and how i can recreate it if you can just pause what you're doing at the moment and see how you are viewing your life now and if you had an opportunity to recreate it how would you be recreating it for example you are at a job now that you absolutely are not excited about but you want to have better jobs you want to have promotion you want to have better friends and all the perks of life which you feel you deserve what are you doing right now working towards that are you still having the adventure space in your life where you say no yes right now i am in this position in life but i am going to make it better it is my decision and nobody is going to teach me how i'm going to live my life i am in this position now let me see how else i can make it happen how else i can re- i can achieve what i want to achieve what sacrifices i need to make to achieve what i want to achieve do i need to study more do i need to work more what is it do i need to sacrifice my relationships to have a better uh, working space which one do i need to sacrifice more do i need to sacrifice my sleep do i need to sacrifice my friends do i need to sacrifice my family my friends my outing my social which do i need to sacrifice for me to achieve what i want in my profession yes it is important for us to have sacrifice one aspect of life so that time and that intensity can be put towards achieving what you want as long as you're clear in your decisions then any thing you do will have a lot of clarity but similarly there's another example i would like to share with you if you're fired from the job that you really loved which you thought was perfect for you and you were going to expand and you were just on the brink of promotions it is but natural for today today's man to feel depressed sad or feel that oh he has lost everything that is how you are perceiving life that is what we call drishti now there are two aspects to see this one you can feel sad depressed or feel the whole life is gone and just f- ruminate on it and you know back bite your boss or crib about it or start degenerating by not waking up early saying i'm depressed i lost my job i lost my friends people don't like me at work or there was politics or someone you know backstab me you can keep ruminating on this for ever or the moment you fired you can take a different position of life a different drishti and this is where the shrishti comes in the shrishti of creation creating what you want from here not from the genesis but even from here this position this time in life where you feel you've lost everything you can create everything you want or anything you want you can pause for a moment and say oh okay i've lost my job what are the reasons i've lost my job have i put in my work efficiently have i been integrated authentic towards my profession towards my commitment to the firm or to my boss 
yes if you've been everything then all you need to see is yes i have been i have been authentic towards my commitment to my boss and to my employer it's his decision and says loss i know how to make my life better and you start making those kind of decisions whether you are going in for different interviews or you start wanting to invest and start your own businesses but it is this powerful cognition that is going to make you move towards life seamlessly suffering based lifestyle or solution based lifestyle the moment you choose solution based lifestyle no matter what happens no matter what happens in life the moment you pause and say my life is my decision i am not going to let anybody in the world decide how i am going to live my life whether i should cry be happy be here be there it's my decision that will make you tremendously independent you feel a tremendous freedom and a tremendous completion because it is not just arrogance or adamancy that will give you this confidence but your own sense of self worth self value so no matter what happens in life you'll only look at creating 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 how can i move forward how can i create a better lifestyle what more i can do to have a better lifestyle and this we call as even manifesting your life the way you want but the most important thing is always always choose only solution based lifestyle it's only from done or that moment you can start moving moving towards creating the life manifesting the life the way you want in today's world one of the most uh, intriguing aspects of people i have seen across us all of us want to create life the way we want but we have so many conflicts so many self doubts and a lot of us have what we can call as um, very low self confidence about ourselves how do you overcome these is it just the decision of a solution based lifestyle or oh, what okay i'm going to decide i'm going to have a solution based lifestyle so i go out and i start creating life but then every moment that i face people or decisions that i take how do i know they are the decisions that are the right decisions that will not lead me to more suffering more problems how do i know that there are no guarantees in life but i will let you into a little secret the signs of completion the signs of inner freedom the powerfulness that you feel for yourself the feel of, you feel not only for yourself but about yourself and the ability that you have to create things to design the life you want that is the only factor that is the only foundation that is the only ingredient you need in your life like every food almost across the world needs a little bit of flavor of salt you may have anything else or not have anything else but salt is the most important ingredient in cooking likewise your sense of self worth your sense of self confidence cannot deteriorate you cannot go into a bend of oh i'm not sure if i'm going to be successful the moment you start thinking like that that is failure thinking that is suffering based thinking suffering based cognition but how do you get out of this how can you get out of this it's very simple learn and utilize the signs of completion i have spoken about completion many many times in various videos in my youtube channel completion with self feeling of self worth feeling of self hatred the inner violence i have spoken about this i have shared with you what i have learned from my guru the only one the most wonderful guru on this planet bhagwan shri nityananda parmashivam what i have learned from him what i have used in life the science which is not just a theory but in practical has helped me and millions of others to live a life of no conflict to live a life of success because here success is defined by you 
not by someone else, which is the most important factor in everyone's life. What you define as success, what you define as life, from the space of completion is what is going to make you feel all powerful and you have the ability to create the life you want. You can watch any of my videos. I'll be posting some of my links in my description box below. And I would also like to invite you to our digital nation, kailasa.org, the link which I'll be posting below. This nation, the Kailasa nation, has been created, is being revived just so that all human beings can experience, radiate, live the science of enlightened consciousness and experience the conscious breakthrough from where we are now as normal human beings with consciousness and move on to the higher platforms, the higher play to of being the super conscious being of which we've heard about or read about in many, many texts, be it the Hindu texts or the non-Hindu texts, religious texts. We even read about it in comics, the graphic novels where we read about the Superman, the Batman, the Iron Man, the Flying Man or even in books like Harry Potter. All these are just not figment of imagination. All the superpowers are latent inside of us, which each one of us can manifest with the simple signs of completion and living with enlightened consciousness. To know more about what enlightened consciousness is, visit kailasa.org, our digital nation, which is an open platform and an open invitation for all those who want to explore what is enlightenment or what Hinduism in its quintessence teaches to each of the human beings here and why Hinduism is so relevant to all human beings today across genders, across nations, across all religions. Please don't forget to visit kailasa.org. I'll be posting the link below. And to know more about Science of Completion, please visit my YouTube channel for more on these. And of course, you're welcome to visit us anytime in a Bangalore Adhinam. Thank you for watching and please leave your comments, your feedbacks in the inbox below and I will be happy to be in touch with you. Looking forward to seeing you again in my next video. Nityanandam.